Star Greed here on Studio STL. And our next guest is super creative and has brought in something totally tasty. Allison Schilling of St. Louis Cheese Boards alongside of Aaron Arm Connect. Ladies, thank you so much for being here thank with us Thank you for today. having us. And y'all look great here. in your green yes, and we're repping the loo. Yes, representing our green I Irish. love it. Yes. That means I can't pinch you on TV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, this looks amazing. I love this spread. Really getting in the spirit. Walk us through this amazing St. Patty's Day board. Yes, so we had um, two different uh, St. Patrick's Day boards that were great. This one's great for the parade. We did three different cheeses. This is an Irish porter cheese. And then we used these macaroons that are locally made, uh, Liz McClure. And they're these delightful little leprechauns. I mean, check that out. Those are adorable. And they're so intricately detailed. Yes, she did an amazing Liz, job. Liz, I love McClure, macaroons. McClure, yes. So. And then we great had job, some cookies from Companion. We always try to, you know, support local, but also, you know, include our favorite cheeses on there as well. So that was kind of a fun little crowd pleaser this St. Patrick's Day. And how do you come up with all these creative boards, Allison? Um, I do a lot of Pinterest searching. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I um, also, you know, Arid, she's really great at coming up with creative ideas as well. Um, so we kind of work together, bounce ideas. I'll make a board, send it to her. She'll send an idea back, you know, to Dynamic improve. duo, so, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, Erin, what goes into actually making uh, a cheese board, really. Um, a, well, designing it first and then a lot of prep work, getting all the veggies and the fruits clean, cutting up all the cheeses and the meats, and then putting it together and then you know, making it happen it here okay. and well, there and, and make yeah. one now. Yeah. Yeah. So Easter, right. Right around the Easter corner. is a month away, if you can believe Which it. Which is which oh is crazy. Hard to believe St. Patty's Day is here, yes. but Easter's right around the corner. Yes. So I actually have my gloves, so here I am grabbing love it, this. but it's okay. And then I love the, just the little bunny here. So cute. Yeah, so this board will actually be available on our website to purchase, but we can build it today. Um, so we're the just people gonna at home can do yeah. it. So you Sneak can just pink. pick whatever kind of cheeses you want, and you'll slice it, you know, beforehand. Uh, this is a Manchego that you can get. I like to buy it at, you know, local Schnucks, Deerberg's, uh, Trader Joe's, whichever. Um, and you just kind of line up the cheeses that Those way. Those ears are super cute. I know, so you got that so far. <laughs> bunny ears. And then you kind of take, you always want to make sure you include your favorite cheeses, but also your favorite meats. This is a Soprasada from Volpe, Soprasada. Uh, which is also local. you got to love it. So you just kind of take your different salamis. This, I'm trying to make it look like little whiskers. So. Oh, that's so cute. And then, and then you have the Jordan almonds, which yeah, are those, are are those Jordan almonds? <gasps> these are from Chocolate Chocolate oh, Chocolate. Yeah, cute. Yeah. Um, and then we also have these adorable, um, these are mm, little yummy. chocolate covered eggs from Chocolate 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 as well. So you always want to include something sweet on there with your boards. You do have to have the sweet. Got to have the boards. sweetness. Um, and and then just fruit on the boards as well, right? Yeah, so just add a bunch of different, you know, fruits, whichever you like, and, you know, make it simple. But this is a perfect little gift for hostesses. So if you are coming to a house for Easter brunch, or, you know, or going to someone's house, or you just want to make it for your guests when they come over for Easter brunch, whichever, this is a great so, little, we'll do it. So if you don't want to make it, it, you can also buy one from us. Which is what I love. Which you is all are doing the hard work. <laughs> and I want to make it easy for you. And I know you all talked about, you know, coming up with these boards. Erin, what are some of your favorite items to work with? Um, I love, we have so many local creameries and local um, sources for meats. And it's really fun to, play around with different combinations. Um, I'm a big cheese fan, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that's like a cheese. dream job here. Um, but I love just seeing what different combinations we can come up with. And, and yeah. this is phenomenal. I love the flowers. Are the flowers edible too? They are. We were just talking oh, about no. that before the segment, We that you know there are different uh, edible flowers that you can get. Um, you know, some need to be treated, so don't mm -hmm. just go around eating just whatever, eat <laughs> eating whatever flowers you feel like. But but all of you all yes. flowers are edible. Well, if people are interested in getting their orders in for an Easter cheese board. Where can they find you? Uh, stlcheeseboards.com. We also have Instagram and Facebook. Instagram is at stlcheeseboards. Um, again, this is just a really great option for Easter time. We want to make these boards for you. We offer pickup and delivery, um, and there's local pickup, um, you know, locations. So I mean, we make it easy for you. The only thing better than a cheese board is a cheese board that's delivered to your right. house. Right. Yes. St. <laughs> Louis <laughs> cheese boards will absolutely take care of you. And I mean, you can soak up this incredible. 
St. Patty's Day Cheese Board. We'll make sure we post it on our Instagram and on Facebook page so you can see the detail because the devil really is in the details. And we'll make sure you have access to all of their information on our website at studiostl.tv. But for now, we're gonna get you up to date and caught up on our news headlines. We're gonna send things inside to the studio with news anchor Mike Colombo. Hey, Mike. Just drooling over here, ladies. Let me wipe <laughs> that before we.